Hello and welcome to a new video from onboard the MS Amira of Phoenix Reisen and today we are in Svolver but we also have a day at sea before and after in this video so we have three days now in one video we're starting with the first day at sea and here on the map you can of course also see our route today the first day at sea was a very calm day I didn't do too much just a bit of relaxing but it was the first day with a bit of waves so the first time the ship was moving a bit more nothing crazy but and as you can see the sea was also quite calm but we had a few long waves so the ship was moving a bit more than on the other days but that's already it for the first day at sea as I said it was a very relaxed day so we're straight going to the next day and that was the complete opposite because on this day a lot was happening. I started very early in the morning making my ship tour that you already saw in the first video and once I finished that tour we reached the Raftsund which is uh, 25 kilometers long straight between Westerolen and the Lofoten Islands and this is a very very scenic and beautiful place. The strait is a very small and narrow. Amira is one of the biggest ships that can sail through the Raftsund and that is mainly because of a very low bridge that we will be passing soon but also because the strait is very narrow so the ship cannot be much longer than Amira or wider than Amira so this is something very special the most cruise ships have to go all the way around the Lofoten Islands and cannot pass this strait but we are small enough actually we are a bit too high our ship is 43 meters high one bridge that is crossing the Raft Sundet is only 42 meters high, but it's the same like in an earlier video. Emma Samira can lower her mast and with the lowered mast she's only 41 meters high, which is the absolute maximum to pass this bridge. So we are able to go under the bridge, but any ship that is just slightly bigger than Emma Samira will not be able to pass this bridge and therefore will be unable to sail through the rafts on it. And here we have this bridge that we are fitting under closely very closely but it's possible as you can see here and we are rewarded with one of the most scenic sailings of this cruise the landscape is spectacular with these beautiful mountains especially those clouds and the fog did the rest so it was absolutely stunning and the best thing is i could watch this all from my balcony with a cup of coffee from my espresso machine in the cabin so that was like the perfect start of the morning during the crossing of the raft zone that you will mostly see just nature there are a few small villages and camping grounds but most of the time we will just see extremely beautiful nature also the Trollfjord is here in the raft zone but unfortunately for this we are too big only the Hurtigruten ships can go into the Trollfjord but we are sailing past it and I have been here in the Raftsundet before with Hurtigruten, with the MS Lofoten in 2020, but unfortunately we had a very strong storm, so our ship was delayed and it was already dark when we sailed through the Raftsundet, so this was now the first time that I was able to see it during the daylight. Here you can see a salmon farm, you will see a lot of them in Norway, and soon after we left Raftsundet, and around lunchtime we arrived in Svolver, our destination of today, the biggest city of the Lofoten Islands. There's only one docking location in the city and that is reserved for the Hurtigruten ship, so we were laying in the roads again using our tender boats. And here in the background you can see a hiking path and this was my destination for today. I wanted to go up to the Flöja mountain, which is quite a demanding hike. Difference in altitude of 565 meters and every single of those meters is quite demanding.
here on the sign you can also see it black sign and very demanding so this is the most difficult category of hiking paths in Norway in my opinion it's quite comparable to the most famous hike in uh, the Lofoten Islands the Rheinebringen in the city of Rheine this one offers as in my opinion probably as I've never done the Rheinebringen but if I compare it with the pictures this hike is at least as much spectacular and offers the same fantastic views. The first part are 505 stairs. This was the most demanding part for my physical fitness. Once you've climbed all those stairs you have a lot of rocks so there the path itself gets more difficult but it's a bit less exhausting and a bit more fun than just walking up the stairs then it's a real hiking path and you will get rewarded for all of this with fantastic views like that. My first destination was a Djevelporten, which means the Devil's Gate. And now it's just a few more meters until we reached Djevelporten 200 meters, but these last 200 meters are stairs again. So that's again quite exhausting. But in this case you will be rewarded with the Devil's Gate and that is a rock. And you can go on that rock take some nice pictures a lot of people want to do that so you probably will have to queue but still it is worth for once because you will get a very nice picture and secondly because the view from top of the rock is absolutely breathtaking that is absolutely amazing if you're scared to go on the rock which is understandable because the rock is about 40 meters above ground so it's understandable if you don't want to climb the rock but then you can just go to the right and there's also a hiking path uphill and there you will have this fantastic view as well this is anyway the way to Flöja that was my final destination the peak of the mountain at an altitude of 565 meters but the way there is the most difficult part this is a very demanding hike up there at some points I was not sure how to continue because it was so difficult but obviously in the end you somehow find a way to get up there and again you will be rewarded with a fantastic view of Svalbard and of course also of our beautiful Emma Mera laying in the roads here. And as you can see it is quite a demanding path also here on the top it is a rich walk so all the time to your left and to your right it's going very far down so if you want to do this hike you should not be afraid of heights and you should have very good shoes and you should be at least a little bit experienced with hiking to know where to step and and feel confident walking on paths like this as you can see it's going down a lot here on the left side so this should not be a problem for you but as I said now multiple times in this video you will get rewarded with fantastic views in my opinion this was one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life and for sure the most beautiful hike I've ever done because this is the view from the top and it was absolutely breathtaking and also the hike is a lot of fun it's very demanding but quite a nice hike and it's a lot of fun it took me about two hours to get to Floja but I was walking quite fast so you should plan a bit more time than two hours and then it was about one hour back down. The way down in my opinion was uh, more demanding than the way up because as you can see it's always on the ridge and that means one wrong step and you will have a very quick and unhealthy descent so you need to be very careful when you're walking down and you just saw this small area with the rocks of about a height of five meters where you just need to find a way to get down there so it was quite demanding to get back down but still of course it's much faster than going up so it took me about one hour without any breaks to go down back to Svolver and now soon we are reaching the stairs again and then I gave myself a little challenge and try to go down all these 505 stairs without stopping. I managed that but my legs were shaking when I was on the ground and for sure they were not 
ready for some more hikes in the next days. So that was also quite a challenge, but I was very happy when I was down again and managed this experience. This hike was absolutely nice and I can really recommend doing it. Of course, you need to feel confident about doing a hike like this, but if you do, big recommendation. It was a fantastic day, a fantastic hike, and I can really recommend it. Obviously, after that, I just did some souvenir shopping and then went straight back to our ship. And there we saw another Hurtigruten ship. This time it was the Nord Cup. Yeah, and then it was time to leave this beautiful place on Earth. One of the most beautiful places I've ever visited. The landscape is spectacular and it's a perfect place for hiking. So I was set to leave this place and for sure I will be back as soon as possible and that's it for the second day and here we can see day three but that was just another day at sea the highlights of this day were the Wiener Cafe House so that was a coffee time with specialties from Austria and in the evening we had the farewell gala already a few days before leaving the ship on the last day at sea and the food once again was absolutely fantastic so I even ordered two main courses to try both of them and that's it for this video I hope it was interesting for you here you can see the name of the song and when the next video will be uploaded this will be a video from Bergen, Egersund and Bremerhaven so the last video of this series I hope you liked this video, if you did please consider to comment, like, subscribe or share the video link and I hope to see you in my next video.